Welcome back to another exciting unboxing here on Civi. Today we've got the uh, Walnut Hollow Versatool. It's a hot knife uh, made for burning wood, but that's not my plan. My plan is to use it to burn D&D minis, which sounds great. Let's see what it includes. It includes a hot tool featuring variable temperature control, which is the whole reason I bought this. Tool stand, another good reason I bought this. Storage case with dividers. I didn't know that it had this. So, like, I'm not even hurt when I get a free storage container. Uh, 11 interchangeable points, which is great. Lead-free solder uh, with uh, rosin. Rosin core. Okay. Instructions uh, and technique ideas. So this is probably for someone who's, like, trying to get into the craft of wood burning. Or hot stamping. Hot stamping. Wood burning. So uh, let's get into the box here. Image transferring. Uh, let's see what we got here. On the back, it tells you what sort of tools we have. We've got a universal point, which is a point I already have. Like I ha already have one of these basically, but without the dial, but it only has the universal point. Uh, it also has the flow point, a taper point, a calligraphy point, a shading point, which is one of the things I actually want, so you can just lop off material, hopefully. Uh, a transfer point, which is probably just a flat, hot, hot surface. A hot knife point, which is going to be really nice for cutting off all the extra bits on my 3D models. Uh, apparently it comes with some solder, which is odd, but okay. A soldering point, which is cool. And a bunch of hot stamping points, so I could do some uh, logos or something like that. Or, I guess not logos, but sig sort of signature sort of deals so we're gonna try and get into this included case it should hopefully just come out all right like that's actually extremely easy all right so it comes with what looks to be a pretty okay case it doesn't open oh it's just a little tight it's a little tight because it's new uh a pretty pretty easy case it's got it's a cm to inch little ruler on the outside we've got a bunch of spacers, so they didn't make you have to use their stupid spacing. They actually gave you just, they just bought a case and gave you what, what they got. So we've got the stand, I assume. We've got the hot knife with a uh, very large control knob. Uh, on the box, it said, I believe that green, like this green here, is for plastics. This is for, I didn't read that far. I would assume it gets hotter as you go, but I kind of want to be in this plastic area uh, so that I don't burn my models. Uh, we've got our knife, and we've got a instruction manual, which you should read, but I'm not going to. So what does it got? What, what do we have here? We've got a nice grip for just kind of holding it, like a rubberized grip. So that's that's quite nice. We've got a end piece here, so I assume this is so you can't, or it's harder to burn yourself. I believe the tips just screw in and out. Uh, I might have to actually read that instruction manual to figure that out. It certainly looks like it. I'm just not sure how to get them off. You might have to use like pliers or something. All right, here's the French side. Spanish. Ah, yes. So green is plastic, soft plastic, syn synthetic fiber, fabrics and wax. Uh, the second one is cork, iron-on embellishments, hard plastic, leather, wood. Uh, cork, natural fabric, stencil cutting, and wood is the, uh, what is that, orange? Yeah, like a dark orange, an amber color. And then the red is for ceramics, foam core, pumpkins, paper soldering, and wood. Uh, hot stamping plates, knife, stencil cutting, image transferring. Oh, this actually lets you, lets, like it uses a laser, uh, uh, like a laser uh, printer to actually stamp whatever you're attempting to stamp on there, which is, that's, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, soldering should be tinned, place stencil on clear glass, hot stamping. Fabric embossed, embossing. Um, plug the tool into an outlet. All points uh, are threaded and designed to be screwed 
the back end of the tool. Point should not be changed when the tool is hot. Always use pliers. Okay, so that was what I was looking for. Use pliers to change the points. After all that, which I don't have any here, so I can't change the points. We've got some, some fun points here. So this, I believe, is our soldering point. Here's our uh, exacto point, which I believe... I'm pretty sure you can change the blade in here, which I certainly hope you can, because that would be really nice to be able to change the exacto blade. Uh, but with a hot knife, it shouldn't really get that dull, as long as you're not scraping with it or something like that. We've got a pointy tip, a slightly less pointy tip. This is the calligraphy tip. Here's that flat pit uh, tip that I was talking about for like, it'll be really good for smoothing stuff out. Here is one of the stamps, which looks like a square with some uh, some points on a on a circle. Then we've got just a straight like bullseye and uh, the same sort of thing, but with diamonds. And then we've got some free solder, which I don't really want, but you know, whatever. Uh, and also the stamping bit here, which will also be good for evening large pieces out. And that's that's really about about it that's in the box, which is, you know, for like 30 some odd dollars, you know, there's there's nothing really, really bad about it, I guess. Uh, I've never actually owned uh, like a hot knife before, so it could be that this one's kind of kind of trash, but uh, maybe I'll do a video about me like cleaning minis with this stuff. Because this seems a lot easier than just... This is what I've been using since, like, before. is just a straight-up knife that's hard to uh, focus on. Which I broke the tip off. Which is mildly dangerous. Um, but I also, when I bought this, bought more tips. So it should be okay. Anyway, for now, I'm Sibby. And I'll see you guys next time.